Welcome back to Great Day. I am very excited for our next segment. The American Heart Association recommends home monitoring for all people with high blood pressure to help the health care provider determine whether or not treatments are working. Makes perfect sense. But what is the proper way to take your blood pressure at home? Dr. Angela L. Brown is an American Heart Association volunteer and a hypertension specialist. And she joins us this morning with a demonstration. How are you, doctor? Very I'm nice doing, to see you. Yes, I'm doing very well, thank you. Mer Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to you. Before we thank get to you. the demonstration, which I'm very excited about, it is important to know that taking your blood pressure at home is not a substitute for regular health checkups. It is absolutely not a substitute, but it is very helpful. Because keep think about it, when you go to the doctor, that's one point in time. You may have had issues in the parking garage, stressors that morning, mm -hmm. so the blood pressure may be elevated, and that doesn't really often give a true representation. Right. But when you can monitor at home on a regular basis over a period of time, that gives us a more accurate snapshot of what your blood pressure is doing. And that was very important during the height of COVID when a lot of people went to telehealth visits. Mm -hmm. So we right. would ask people to take their blood pressure and then give us those readings. That said, we are only as good as the data we're able to provide. So we wanna so make sure that folks know how to do this properly. What is the proper procedure for taking your own blood pressure at home? Well, the first thing is you wanna make sure that you have a validated blood pressure monitor okay. and you want to look on the box and just make sure it says validated. That's there the word we're looking for? Validated, validated okay. exactly. Or you can go online and it just actually Google validated home blood pressure monitors. Okay. Secondly, you want to make sure that you have the right size cuff and the cuff part that blows up should at least go around 80% of the arm. So for individuals who have a much larger arm, mm -hmm. the cuff that comes with the monitor may be too small. Okay. So you need to check with the pharmacist to make sure that there is a larger cuff. If you have a very large arm, then it's okay to use a wrist blood pressure monitor, but keep in mind wrist monitors can be a little temperamental, mm -hmm. so very important to use the monitor the same way every time exactly how it says on the box. Are you able to do this over clothing or does it really Absolutely need to be on not. bare arm? <laughs> it really okay, needs to be good, on. Okay, that's because I don't know yes. that a lot of people understand that. Right, it, it, it should not be over clothing okay. because that's going to constrict. So the arm should be bare, so if I wanted to take your blood pressure this morning, have to, there's about three layers we'd have to get through. You would need to yeah. start shedding yeah. and we don't yeah. want to do that on television. <laughs> Thank you. But, I was uh, thinking it, but she said it. <laughs> but no, the arm should be bare. And most importantly, if you want to hold up the sure. demonstration, mm -hmm. yeah. you want to make sure that you have not smoked, had caffeine, or exercised within about 30 minutes of taking your blood pressure, unless that's what your doctor you know, wants to see some different numbers. Okay. Make sure you sit in a chair, feet flat on the floor, right. back support it, and make sure your arm is supported on a table. You wanna be able to relax that arm. And again, the arm should be bare. The blood pressure cuff, the bottom of the cuff should sit right above the bend of the elbow. Got it. And then again, make sure you relax the arm. Okay, because if you don't do any of those things, it could affect the results. You could that, actually that get a, 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 a falsely elevated yeah. blood pressure. We and another point too, make sure you have an empty bladder. That can also affect no the blood pressure reading as well. I'm so glad you're here. We're learning a lot. Dr. Absolutely. Brown, thank you very much. We you're really very appreciate welcome. it. To learn more about high blood pressure, visit heart.org slash bp tools that's heart.org slash bp tools